Hello friends. Today I want to comment briefly on the latest generational feud. The battle between Gen Z and Millennials over skinny jeans and side parts? <laughs> From the west coast of America to the east coast of Australia, this debate is making headlines all around the world. Not only is fashion taking center stage in this demographic disconnect, but the proper use of emojis is now in question. Apparently millennials use this face to say that they think something was funny while Gen Z is embracing this image. Can you blame Gen Z? They are starting their careers in a global pandemic. Additionally, communication is taking another shift. What once was awkward has now become cringy. Describing someone in a relationship as whipped means they're now a simp. What was kept on the DL is now low key. <laughs> so why does all this matter? You see, historically, the generations that are side by side tend to have some of the biggest challenges in the workplace, especially early on. The assumption is that because they are relatively close in age, they'll think and act more alike than different. But when expectation does not meet reality, frustration begins to set in. The parents who raised them were from different generations. The technology that they grew up with, the music that influenced them, the he he heroes that they looked up to, and even the social constructs were all very different. So if you're a millennial people manager getting ready to welcome in a fresh set of Gen Z, please understand that their expectations may be different than yours. Trust me, I'm a Gen Xer and I know because we raised them. If you'd like to learn more information about these shifts, please check us out at generations.com and I look forward to seeing you real soon.